Hello YouTube, um, it's me again, Robert Oliver, coming to you with, um, Seven Days to Die Again for the PlayStation 4. Now, now, hold on, sorry, wrong button. At this stage, at this stage, I should be, yeah, see? 32, uh, 32 X out of all of that. Now, even that, I think, would be a decent amount to start with. Plus, look at how much wood I collected so far. And the, and, um, the plant fibers. So, so let me just collect a few more stones. And, and as you see, you, you get a point, a skill point for every skill you wing up and, ooh, I'm actually by a, by some caves it looks like. Yep, there we go. Ouch! Ow. Okay, well, um... Oh, and these mushrooms actually... These, these hookah plants or whatever can be found on, um, cactuses and those are actually real, a real good source of food and mushrooms. Okay. Don't, don't, don't accidentally, guys, don't fall into a, a, a cave because <laughs> apparently that was a bear cave. Whoops. Although, if you feel brave enough, you can actually, um, Kill the bail and take over the cave. But yeah, let me. Let me, let me actually, um, continue now because I have a bunch of plan. I have, have a bunch of plant fibers now and stuff, so let's actually craft all the plant fiber stuff. So, I, I would basically, if I was, if I was, um, you guys watching, um, who have, who watches this, I don't know, but if, if you guys watched, who, what, mm, you guys watching this, um, I would suggest 
to you that, um, I would suggest, I would suggest that, um, fi finding a flat land, but in, in the middle of the lake or whatever would be a good idea because then you can actually um, see see zombies coming all around so that way you can easily escape. Oh yeah, oil, if, if you guys get something like this oil right here, that actually can be used for repair kits, which can actually help you real, help you out real nice if, when you get a mini bike. And yeah, I said mini bike. Now, I, I'm still surprised that I was able to get my mini bike in both my worlds, either in my, in my um, normal world or my region world. I have mini bike on both of them, but I'm actually going to say this now before I forget. Thanks for watching, whoever what I said it again, didn't I? Oh boy. Um, I know people watch my video, so I shouldn't actually be saying that, but I do still. But anyways, um, so I'll stop saying that part. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like, wait, comment, and subscribe to this video and other videos. And also leave a like if I, if I didn't say that already. Now... I'm actually gonna stop, stop, uh, the starting guide here because when it says start a base, that's a good time to stop if you're not, if you're not nearby a, like a huge water source or nothing that you can actually build like right in the middle of the water source because act you know, okay, you guys want to know why I say you need to start a base like right in the middle of the water source? Because basically zombies, zombies and zombie dogs and stuff are really slow on the, in the water, so... You actually have enough time to actually get out of your base and um, go like far away if you don't want to deal with the zombies. So yeah, um, building your base in the middle of a in the middle of the, um, a water, a lake or something. Is actually a good idea. Um, well, that is, if you actually want to um, not do that, then build it wherever you want. I don't care. Uh, or, or if you want to be a caveman, f find yourself a big, huge cave. 
like I just did. Wrong button again. But unfortunately... <sighs> you guys saw it. The cave I actually found contained a bale. Now, it looks like there's another cave near me here. And there's caves like right around here too, so just little caves, so I'm just gonna mock the caves. Yeah, you see these little black black dots right here? Those are actually the caves. So it looks like I'm actually gonna go to this one right now. Yeah, just to see what it's, what it is and if there's actually any zombies near it or if there's any bears in it. Because if there's any bear in it, do not, do not go in a, a cave with a bear in it because that's no good. I mean, you, you saw me. By the time I turned around, my life was already over. <laughs> yeah, by the time I turned around and realized there was a bear behind me, yeah, I was already dead. So, yeah, going to a cave, going inside of a cave with a bear is not good. Well, that is, unless if you're Unless if you create, uh, unless if you're feeling, feeling a bunch of courage, then I would say go for it. But if you're, if you're not that create, courageous yet, um, then stay away from now, then stay away from any bales. If you, if you don't think you can handle it then stay away nobody will blame you Looks like the cave entrance is somewhere around here. Oh! It's up here apparently. Go away. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it's inside the mountain. Oh, oh shit, that was awesome. 